Good day, everyone. I am David Hall, and I am bringing you this week's technology tip. This video is going to show you how to use a form to collect your own data. Included in this video are links to example forms, and you can see this in the email. Feel free to use and adapt these to fit your needs. To start with, you will go to one of these forms. I'm going to start with contact log. As you can see, Google will force you to make a copy, so you click on Make a Copy. All right. Now you can see that it is a template. It's a copy of Coach's Log template. Not really helpful. I want to change this right away so I don't forget to later. I'm going to call it Coach's Contact Log 2017-18 David Hall. Now I know exactly what it is, and if I ever have to, I can do a search and find it easily. Now I am the owner of this form. I can adapt it to fit my needs and my wants, and I'm going to change it right now and pause the video. All right, you can see that I changed the background and added some information here, but I easily could have come down here and changed any of the questions. So now my form's done, and I'm ready to collect my own data. But using this one here is not useful at all. I end up changing the question itself, and I don't want to do that. So how do we do that? We go into the preview mode. Preview mode is this little eyeball right up here. So I click on it, and you can see the edit mode is here, and the preview mode is here. I don't have edit rights right now to it. This is meant to be taken and filled out. We could stop there, but then I have to look for this every single time. So to avoid having to search for this form every time I need it, um, I'm going to make it a bookmark. And there are a lot of ways to do that, but the easiest is go up here onto your Omni bar, also called the URL bar, and click on the star. Bookmark added. Coach's contact log 2017-18, and it's going to throw it in the bookmark bar, which is right up here. That would be fine, except you can see I have lots of bookmarks, and I'm going to have more than one form I need to fill out. So if you're done there, you click on Done. I need to edit it. This is for organizing all of your bookmarks. So in my bookmark bar, I'm going to create a new folder. Forms 2017-18 and click Save. Now if I go up here, I can see that it's in that folder and that folder is right there in my bookmark. So I'll have a couple few there. Every time I want to use it, I am here and I want to go to the form, I click on there, there I am. As always, keep sending your ideas for future tech tips by clicking on that form. And if you need any future help, feel free to contact Mark Grunsky or myself, David Hall. Thank you very much.